It's 1991. Cher was sitting on a white couch, her black curly hair framing her face, cascading onto the shoulders of her black jacket. Across from her sat Steve Kometko, holding his interview notes and questions. What about Madonna? He asked. This question again. Cher was not a stranger to interviewers asking her thoughts on newer artists. She had already been in the game for 26 years at this point and had seen them come and go. But Madonna was different. Ever since Madonna debuted in 1982, her career only seemed to pick up more steam every year, increasing the frequency of people asking Cher about her thoughts on Madonna. What about her? The interviewer opines that Madonna reminded him of Cher, career-wise, and that both women are also similar in that they both speak their mind and go against the grain. The interviewer was correct that Cher was always one to speak her mind, but what popped into her mind about Madonna was not exactly pleasant. Cher thought about the handful of times her friend Sean Penn, Madonna's then-husband, had brought Madonna around. The pop princess had acted like a pop brat. But Cher had never spoken about that, in large part due to her friendship with Sean. But now that Sean and Madonna were divorced, that was one less reason for Cher to hold back. And hold back, she didn't. Cher decided it was time she let people know what she really thought of Madonna. She would finally speak her mind regardless of whether that meant that her and Madonna would have beef. Welcome to Stay Little Beef, where I, Jaden Wynn, resurrect long-buried celebrity beef for your entertainment. In this episode, we have the beef between two living legends, Cher versus Madonna. And as always, let's keep the comments fun and shady, but not too crazy, baby. Let's begin. It's not surprising that Cher and Madonna would be compared to each other in the late 80s and early 90s, as they did occupy similar spaces in pop culture at the time as outspoken women and controversial figures. In 1989, Madonna created public outrage and had her Pepsi deal cancelled for the music video for Like a Prayer, and was even publicly reprimanded by the Catholic Church. In that same year, Cher filmed the music video for If I Could Turn Back Time on a Navy battleship wearing such a skimpy risque outfit that the music video got banned on MTV and the Navy decreed that they would never allow music videos to be filmed on military ships again. The first recorded instance that's still available of Cher being asked about Madonna that I could find occurred in 1989 during a press release, where Cher seemed to be choosing her words carefully and also was able to deflect with that famous Cher charm. I think that she's very talented. What, you want some, you want trash? What I think about? <laughs> However, only two years later in 1991, during that interview on the white couch, Cher really seemed to have had enough of the Madonna question and really let loose. There are lots of things that I respect about her. I think that she knows how to work the business like nobody I've ever seen before. And there's something about her that I don't like. She's mean. I, I don't like that. I mean, I remember having her over to my house a couple of times because Sean and I were friends and she just was so rude to everybody. It seems to me that she's got so much that she doesn't have to act the way that she acts like a, a spoiled brat all the time. And it seems to me when you reach the kind of acclaim that she's reached and can do whatever you want to do, you should be a little bit more magnanimous and a little bit less of a And if you're a little unsure on what the bleeped out word was, let's just say Cher was being quite blunt when she pulled this stunt of calling Madonna a Of course, now that Cher had spoken so frankly about Madonna and let people know what she thought about her, interviewers stopped asking about Madonna and began asking Cher other questions. For instance, Terry Wogan asked Cher about running instead. Do you go jogging like Madonna to keep fit? Well, you mean like my best friend Madonna? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was a subtle way to drag her in, you oh. understand. How about dragging her in by her hair? <laughs> How many of you? Well, I think she's unbelievably creative. I mean, I'm amazed at the amount. I mean, because in my day, I was pretty good at doing the same thing that she's doing, but she does it so much better. But, I mean, she's un unbelievably creative because she's not unbelievably talented. She's not beautiful, but she's kind of 
she's rude. And so this man said, how do you feel about her? I said, well, she's nice, but I mean, she, she's creative, but she's rude. And then I used another word and they bleeped me. And although I live for Cher voicing her unfiltered opinions, I do think that she was drinking a few sips of haterade by saying that Madonna is not beautiful, considering Madonna's looks are one of the major reasons for her success, I think. In 1992, Cher was asked about Madonna's controversial book, and this is what she had to say. And I saw, I, I thought some of the pictures were really interesting and really beautiful, and I thought some of the pictures were silly in a way or another. You have to turn the book around and do some shit. Yeah. Um, I kind of like going like this. <laughs> but I think she's, I think she's very creative, and I think that she does a lot with the talent that she has. She's a major, major star, and she's not really a great, great singer. She's not really a great, great actress, but she's a, I mean, but she's one of the biggest stars in the world. So that's a special art to be able to turn whatever you have into, it's like spinning straw into gold. You that know, same you year, Madonna filmed a promo to get people to vote and made a dig at Cher. I need something to wear, darling. Do I look like someone who's never voted before? Mm-hmm. Please, share votes and stuff oh, like God. that. I wouldn't be caught dead voting in that. <laughs> now you're talking. It's over. It's finished. It's done. And bam, what? I'm ready to vote. That clip is one of the rare moments I could find where Madonna actually mentions Cher because in reality, this beef seems to be quite one-sided in terms of what is publicly available. We don't know what Madonna did behind the scenes, but in terms of publicly, she never really mentioned Cher. And maybe because Madonna didn't really take the bait and she didn't fight back publicly, the beef seemed to subside for a while. In 1997, the Met Gala theme honored Gianni Versace who was sadly murdered earlier that year. Madonna and Cher put aside their differences and both attended the Met Gala with Gianni's sister, Donatella Versace. The following year, they were also photographed together at the Vanity Fair Oscar party along with Katie Lang and Joni Mitchell. And this is a star-studded photo. So for a while, things seemed fine between the two icons. That is until the age of the internet and the birth of Twitter. In 2012, it was crystal clear that Cher ran her own Twitter account and would tweet like the 66-year-old icon she was at the time. In July 2012, a user asked Cher, how has Madonna influenced your career? Cher responded, don't know. I was here a million light years before she was like a virgin. It's like, not one. I don't know what she meant by that last part, so please explain to me if you speak Cher Twitter. <laughs> Another user followed that up with, so you were the first MDNA. And still that b-word says Gaga copied her. Which of course at the time Madonna and Gaga were in the midst of their own beef which I have a video covering on my channel if you are interested. Cher responded to that with this iconic three-word tweet, WTF is MDNA. <laughs> Another user explained to Cher that MDNA was Madonna's new album and was a play on the party substance to which Cher responded, how tasteful. Another user explained that MDNA was Madonna's new nickname, to which Cher replied, I had a nickname for her back in the day. Had to say sorry, Madge. It was uncouth. And I'm pretty sure Cher meant the word she called Madonna in that interview from 1991 on the White Couch. Cher also tweeted that Madonna was the best at what she does and that I respect her ability. She's a genius. However, this was not enough to satisfy Madonna's fans, who came out in full force to attack Cher. Cher frantically posted, Didn't mean to throw shade on Madge. She's the best at what she does. Called her bad word once, not nice. Okay, didn't know MDNA. Shoot me, I live in cave. She followed that tweet 15 minutes later with this one saying, Doesn't any effing buddy cut slack for effing mistakes? It's not like I cut her heart out with a spoon. Madge and I are cool. That's enough for me. Cher ended the night by explaining she was trying to tweet Madonna to explain that the situation was BS, but she'll just straighten it out tomorrow, which I found hilarious to think of Cher at midnight, getting cooked by Twitter and trying to figure out how to tweet Madonna. <laughs> Cher brought up this Twitter situation again in 2013. I kept seeing this MD, what was it, MDNA? Yeah. I kept seeing MDNA and MDNA and I just thought, finally I just wrote, what the f MDNA? And it happened to be Madge, it happened to be what Madge was calling, her, was calling herself on the tour. And everybody was like up in arms, but then people were like, that's the funniest thing we ever heard. 
However, a few minutes later, Cher seemed to get over the hate she got from Madonna's fans because someone asked her what she did to celebrate Madonna's birthday, and Cher replied, I got a colonic. <laughs> In 2013, Andy Cohn asked Cher about this tweet, and Cher seemed to find it just as funny as the rest of us. Okay, now someone asked you, how, do you, how did you celebrate Madonna's birthday, and you said you got a colonic. <laughs> <laughs> but, you're, but you're good with Madonna, right? I'm totally yes. good with okay. Madonna. Okay. Madge and I have gone through our things, okay. but I'm totally good with her. Okay, good. That same year, Cher spoke to USA Today and gave Madonna a compliment when speaking about Lady Gaga. Cher and Gaga actually recorded a song together in 2011, but it was never officially released because Gaga was not happy with the song. Cher said there was not hard feelings though and that Gaga's got it, the way Madonna had it, something that made you stop and go, what's that? It's not just crazy clothes, Madonna had her ear to the ground and knew what was coming before anybody else. Side note, in the same interview, Cher spoke about Miley Cyrus's performance at the 2013 VMAs. It was so bad. I'm not old fashioned. She could have come out naked. And if she just rocked the house, I would have said, you go girl. It just wasn't done well. She can't dance. Her body looked like hell. The song wasn't great. One cheek was hanging out. And chick, don't stick out your tongue if it's coated. Shade. <laughs> that same year, Cher did a Reddit AMA, which stands for Ask Me Anything, and a Reddit user asked, Do you still hate Madonna? Cher answered, Actually, I don't. I never hated her. I just thought she was a B word. Actually, I quite respect her. Actually, I think Madge might be one of the most amazing artists I've known. I don't like everything she does for sure, but she is always riding the crest of the wave. She always saw trends way before everyone else and had great videos. So besides saying WTF is MDNA, I'm fine with it. A few years later, the two were photographed together at the 2017 Women's March on Washington DC, looking chummy. A year later though, Cher threw some fun shade towards Madonna when she was on The Ellen Show. <laughs> okay. Name three celebrities you'd want to do a duet with. Oh, Adele, Pink, and uh, um, not Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, Miss well, Negative. Did I cheat? Yeah. During Madonna's 2023-24 celebration tour, there is a part of the show where she plays a montage that includes people talking about her through the years, and she included a short clip of Cher. The Los Angeles Times did ask Cher about how she felt being included in the montage. Interviewer, did you see that Madonna has a video clip in her new show from an old interview of yours where you said that she's mean? Cher, I said a lot worse than that. Interviewer, what's your beef with Madonna? Cher, it's not a beef. I actually like her, but come on. Interviewer, you're saying she's mean? Cher, she can be. We buried that hatchet a long time ago because I called her something so much worse and she forgave me. But I give her this. There's no one like her that had their ear to the ground and knew everything before anybody else. I mean, she knew what was coming and she was right on it. I always felt that was her greatest gift that she could know the trends before any of us. Interviewer, what did you call her that was worse? Cher, look it up. <laughs> and that is where the beef rests for now. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you are a fan of RuPaul's Drag Race, I started a second channel on all things Drag Race and the link is in the description. Thanks. <laughs>